can drop the puck here center. Every game critical in the postseason. This one no different, and we are underway. Through the neutral zone and into the offensive end. The Predators take it across the line. And he had the answer on that one. We got a whistle as the puck's frozen. Yossi's wheel zone ability means he's so fast even when skating with the puck. Pedersen's dangerous when he shoots pucks that are flat and settled on the ice. His snipe zone ability is that accuracy from having full control of the puck. Be on the lookout for one of these players to make an impact for their team tonight. Now, let's send it back upstairs. Herodic's picking up steam. Moves it quickly over to O'Reilly. Turns it away. By slashing the leather on this save, the shooter's in a great A scoring area, and man, he just whips out the glove and makes the save. Lots of hockey left to be played in this period. The game is still scoreless. Great read by the winger to take possession with the two centermen tied up. Slides the puck over. Moves it to Pedersen. To his TV! Oh, what a save by Sellers! Well, that shot came quick, and it was right out front. He had to be sharp. He had to be right on it and show his brilliant reflexes. O'Reilly's got the puck in his own zone. Lines, come on. Feeds it over to Besser. The Canucks pick up steam and are on the attack. Centering feed, and he denies that great opportunity there. Too much traffic in the lane. How did he stop that one? Puck is frozen, and we get a stoppage in play. The Canucks will go to work here in the offensive zone. McDonough's lugging the puck. Nashville's on the attack. Quick feed to Shen. And that's blocked in traffic. And they keep the pressure on. He's got the puck with all sorts of traffic around him. Keeps possession. Quick pass to Miller. Score! Quiet shot, James, and that means is the goaltender can't see it. So he's listening for it, and it buzzes right by him because he cannot catch up to it, can't find it with his eyes, and can't find it with his body. The Canucks have come out very hungry in this one, and look at this. They get the 1-0 lead. The coach was talking to us at the pregame skate about how important it is to get off to a good start, not let anyone into the game to start it in your barn. And you couldn't have drawn this one up any prettier. Vancouver's got lots of jump in their step tonight. They put lots of pucks on net already. The Canucks win the draw. Who's in front? Through the neutral zone, moving the puck along the side. Oh, excellent use of the stick as he knocks that one away. Shen's been brought down, and we're going to get a penalty here. Time for the officials to hand out the judgment. Well, the penalty killers are going to have to beat a task on this one, protecting that one goal lead. Demko's got that light work zone ability, which means he can get a read on the shooter and square himself up to the shot to make the save. The Predators win the draw, and they go on the attack here in the offensive zone. Pass in front, and that's blocked in front. Jocelyn for the puck, and he loses control. The Canucks will kill off a few extra seconds now. Takes the puck along the boards. Here's a short pass to Sherwood. Gets in front of it by Lanyard. What pressure here in the offensive end. Here's a save. And they come away with possession here on their own end. And the puck clears the zone. Sissons takes it into the offensive end. And now he tries to get it across to Sherwood. The Canucks have it against the wall. And they'll get it out of the defensive end. The Predators have the puck now. Garland's almost back on the ice. Good reach of the stick to knock the puck away. 
Vancouver's lead is still intact after a solid effort by the penalty kill unit. Well, often in hockey, we say timing is everything. And when you're down by a goal, you have an opportunity on the power play. You have to cash in. And the whole bench knows that that was a missed opportunity. working on different exercise, tracking with your eyes, foot movements, everything that power pushes you across the crease. And unfortunately, this time, he's just too slow getting across, and it hits him and goes to the back of the net. The Canucks have had way more chances offensively, and as a result, they're leading in this one. And they win that draw center. Jankowski's got it along the wing. Tries to the crease. That's blocked. Moves it quickly over to Yossi. And now it's grabbed by Mikheyev. Vancouver's in on the offensive attack now. Moves it to Hughes. And that's intercepted in the defensive end. Quick feed to Mohawk. And that's intercepted by Miller. Vancouver's been working hard away from the puck, and they're using their awareness to take away angles and seams. And this is something they're doing with their stick positioning. Coach talked about it pregame, how important it was going to be. Saros has the puck and holds on for a whistle. Inching closer to the midway mark of this period. Vancouver's got a two-goal lead. They'd love to build on it. The Canucks win the faceoff. Officials getting ready to drop the puck. Puck possession so key in today's game. The Canucks win it. We got a whistle. Penalty coming up. Glass is caught for the trip. And he's going on a trip to the penalty box. Vancouver sending their power play unit out for the first time tonight. Well, first power play of the game, James. You want to start with possession and look to get shots to the net. It is the tone setter. And they managed to clear it. Here's a chance. Big time stop there. Well, that wrister had some heat, James, but he was able to get in front of it and turn it aside. Suter's stick handling in his own zone. And we'll get a face off after the offside call. Miller's at the face-off dot, ready to win this draw on the man advantage. The Canucks win it. That's center ice now. He grabs the puck. And that's knocked away by Lazard. Wicked blast! And he'll likely feel that one in the morning. Takes a shot. Turns that one away. Play whistle dead. Penalty coming up. The Canucks have been handed a two-minute penalty for tripping. And on the heels of that call, we get ourselves a little four-on-four -on, -four on the ice. Well, four-on-four -four is similar to three-on-three. -three. There's more ice available, and you can't just dump it in. You want to possess the puck and try and create numbers around the ice. That's two-on-ones all over. Hard hit, frees up the puck. Nashville's got a hold of the puck. On the attack, they come down the right wing. And just like that, comes up with the puck. Great little flick of the stick. They score! teams are often the difference maker. It's why you spend so much time in practice working on them, James, and they took advantage of their opportunity. I really like the way they move the puck around to wait for the right time to be able to move that puck for the one-timer in that low slot area. He didn't have much time to get it off, but he got some wood on it and buried it. Nashville's got themselves a goal back, and they're right into it once again. Well, it only takes one to reset the life for this team, and you can certainly see it as the bench erupted with that goal. This is exactly why 
you send bodies to the front of the net, James. You want to create a screen, and the goaltender drops into the butterfly position as a default and is battling to find the puck. Can't find it and beats him clean. The Canucks look to be on a mission tonight, already up by two here, and we're still only in the first. Well, the mission is possible because they've been dominant out there tonight, James. They've been relentless. They competed for pucks, loose pucks at will. I mean, they've outbattled their opponent, and now they're sitting with a two-goal cushion. Nashville's got it in their own zone. And he slides it quickly to Nightfish. Gives him a jolt with that hit. His reflexes on display tonight. One of his greatest gifts is his speed, but he doesn't slow down when the puck is on his hip. That often happens to many players in the game, but not him. He creates his own openings, and he just can't bury it there. I mean, it's a nice save by the goaltender because he's such a threat. Steps inside the attacking zone down the left wing. Here's a pass in front, and that shot's blocked. Quick pass to Holtlander. Tremendous sacrifice laying out to block it. The Predators looking against the half wall. And he uses his reach to disrupt the play. Vancouver's looking to break out. Here's a short pass to Cole. Sends the pass over. And offside will get a reset here. Here in the back half of this period, the Canucks now lead by two. They take possession as he locks him up off the faceoff. Puck grabbed by Garland. And he'll take a step back here deep inside his own zone. Can't complete the pass as it goes off a stick. Cuts to the front. Oh, just wide. Big touch save. Oh, my goodness. Well, throw technique out the window. This time it's all about the competitive will to get to that puck. Vancouver's got possession of the puck. Puck picked up by Trennan. No room for that one to get through. Cut into the club by Demko. There's the whistle as the puck stopper likes to hang on. The Canucks have used their advantage in shots to take the lead here in the first. Vancouver's got the puck after winning the defensive zone faceoff. And he slides it quickly to Mikheyev. Vancouver's got the puck against the boards. And that shot dies in traffic. And he takes the feed. Puck scooped up by Sherwood. Gaining momentum up along the side. Lines, come on. The Predators have the puck in the corner. Here he is, just on that. Oh, he got a little sliver of it, and it stays out. And uses the length of his stick to knock that puck away. Moves it quickly over to McKayla. Oh, what a stop by Saros. Puts it on net. Blocked in traffic. The Predators gain control of the puck. Through center. Streaking through center, they go on the attack. And that carries off a stick. Demko's going to hang on for a whistle. Here in the late goings of the period, the Canucks are up 3-1. Nashville's won it, now they'll go on the attack. The Canucks will play it from the defensive zone. Moves it to Carrier. Quick pass to Novak. And the extended stick ends that one. Can't maintain possession after that hit. Sent into the offensive zone. Quick feed to Hughes. Nashville's gained possession along the boards. Now a quick pass to Carrier. And he keeps possession. Nashville's got it in their own zone. And now he moves it quickly to Evangelista. From the left wing, takes the feed. The Canucks get a hold of the puck along the boards. an impressive save, James, and I love to look at these ones again because it's not just being in great position, it's being desperate. It's finding a way to get to the puck, keeping your eye on it at all times, tracking it, out-battling and out-willing everyone around you. The Canucks have created a lot of scoring chances tonight, and they lead it here late in the first.
smart play to take possession, sneaking in off the wing. Takes the feed. And the traffic jam in front blocks the shot. Garland's been a workhorse tonight, James, and there's just another example of it. And the entire bench knows that they're invigorated by it. I mean, he's on his way down, he's stumbling, and he manages to find the puck and get a shot on net. That's tenacity at its best. Loses possession after he takes a little hit. The Canucks cross the line and gain the zone. Nashville's got a hold of it along the wall. Frustrating. He gets the look that he wants. He gets to the right spot on the ice, and then he just misses. Through the middle of the ice, they enter the attacking zone. Cuts to the point. Big time stop by Demko. You have to be quick in your crease if you want to be able to deny low zone shots. He does that perfectly as he's tight to the shooter right there. The Predators get a hold of it. And that slides right out to center ice. Slides it back to the blue line. Gets a glove on to make the save! Goaltenders work so much on their reaction time, and man, this is just a clinic right now as he flashes the glove and makes the save. Centers are set, face off ready to resume play. Offense is on face off, and he wins the draw. Slides it over with pace to Segura. Big stop! Just as time expires in the period. First 20 minutes of play is in the books. Both teams get a chance to refresh and reset. We'll be back with second period action in no time. Don't forget, fans, if you're here with somebody celebrating his birthday tonight, go to our guest services booth, and you'll see their name up on our big screen before the end of the game. Well, let's see what period two has in store for us as they are about to drop the puck. Second frame is underway as the puck is dropped. All right, Pounder, how would you assess this game through the first 20 minutes play? Vancouver's got a two-goal lead heading into the second period, and I'm not surprised, actually, just a little surprised it's not more. They dictated pace and tempo. They've been aggressive and hounded pucks. But in particular, one of the reasons why they've been most successful is they found the shooting lanes, and they're putting the puck to the net. Sneaks away with the puck after he was tangled up on the draw. Big play inside the defensive zone. Scoops up the puck now. Takes it along the wall by Suter. The Canucks will play it in their own end. Drives to the sweet spot. And that's blocked. Nashville's got it in the offensive zone. Gets the full use of his stick on the puck check. Here's a shot. Glove save. Demko's been really sharp tonight, James, and just have a look at his save percentage, and he's making the stops that he needs to. But man, his team's played well. They've got going north, they've created opportunities, and the reason why, they have a healthy lead. The Predators win that offensive zone faceoff. Gives them nothing in front. And they'll cover it up, forcing a stoppage in play. Lots of time left in this period. The Canucks have been getting solid offensive contributions, leading 3-1. Nashville's got it, and they're on the attack. Oh, slick work with the glove by Demko. The Canucks have dominated in the shot department here early in the second, and they lead this one. Miller's won it off the faceoff. Takes control of the puck. Taken by Mikheyev. Sends it in on the attack. Slides the puck ahead to Sissons. Good, solid check, and he loses control of it. Along the half wall with the puck. The Predators have it now. Through the neutral zone now, picking up steam. The Canucks gain possession in their own end. Now over to Mikheyev. Nashville's got the puck along the wall. Oh, and he tracks it perfectly in the offensive end. The Canucks are in a tight game. They've got to start making good on all those inner... Oh, spectacular save right there! Wow! Unbelievable. I mean, it was all but in, and he steals it because of that last-ditch attempt to find the puck. Just incredible save, James. Cole's moving the puck through his own zone. Pumps it away in his own end. No quarter given here as they battle for the loose puck along the boards. Scooped up along the wall by Novak. Looking to make something happen in the offensive zone. Oh, what a stop 
with the stick by Demko. It's amazing to me how he always looks like he's in the right position because he tracks and reads the play so well. And this time he gets in front of the puck that's right in the middle of the ice as the shooter's got a dangerous opportunity. Centers are lined up and we are ready to resume. And off the draw, they'll take possession. They gain the offensive zone from the middle. Let's see what the officials are calling. Jankowski's actions pretty evident in the eyes of the officials here for tripping. Vancouver's power play unit puts their hard hats on as they go back to work. No, they haven't scored on the power play yet. 100% is not a number that we see typically. So they've got to find a way to just stay confident, trust the process and their skill sets. Oh, just a textbook hit. Keeps possession on the play. And a poke check knocks the puck away. Quick pass to Sissons. Good heads up defensive play as he extends the stick. From the opposite point. Reaches out and uses the stick. Can't hang on after that hit. Moves it to the middle. And that's stopped. Smith's last play was impressive, James. I mean, he's falling. He's almost on one foot. Incredible balance. But more importantly, the awareness to know exactly where he was passing and distributing the puck. Here's a short pass to Miller. And he gets in front of that. Nice play shorthanded as they get control of the puck. Fires it on net. Can't get it to go. Slides the puck across to Suter. Let's get the call. Carrier's been nabbed for tripping. The Canucks send their man advantage unit out once more. Dropped and he wins the draw here in the defensive zone. And they get the puck out. Trying to get something going here with this man advantage as they start from their own end. Handles the pass at center. Chris Slump turned aside with a play by Saros. In front of the net, and the goaltender covers up for a whistle on the play. Lindholm's ready for the draw as we get set to resume this power play. Vancouver's won the draw. Now let's see what they can do with it. Scores! Here it is. A power play goal. One of the toughest things to do is get in and get entry in. When you already have a face-off in the offensive zone, you got to find a way to execute on the power play. You know, it's one of the most difficult things to do, but when you win possession, you can get the setup. You can get the look that you want, and that's what happened here. The Canucks look about as dominant as I have seen them all season here, Cheryl. This period has been unbelievable for them. Yeah, they're dictating pace, and they're dictating the play all over the ice, and then they're executing on their opportunities. It's a reason why they overlead. Makes his presence known on the ice. Slapped away by the blocker. Soros really showing great rebound control, and what this does is it just cleans up the front of the net. Knocked away by Friedman. Vancouver's got the puck. The Canucks move the puck in the defensive zone. Here they come up along the wing. Moves it quickly over to Suter. Stopped by the goaltender getting a piece of that one. Here he is with the backhander. Denies him again. He's out battling his opponent right now. He is so dialed in. He's tracking the puck, making save after save. It's about time this team starts working in front of him. Oh, how did he get a glove on that? What a stop by Demko. the leader of this team, James. He knows exactly what to do. He has been in these situations before. He's got to put this team on his back with this offensive zone face off and lead the charge. Here's a shot. Oh, CP, you know what he wanted there. Just came up a little wide. Well, JC certainly did. He pulled it into his body, and as he corrals it, he lets it rip, but hockey's again. Team that knows that they've worn their opponent down. Now they gotta keep the 
pedal to the metal. Vancouver's carried the puck like it's been on a string all night, Cheryl. Puck's been on their stick, and their opponent's been on their heel. They've just been worn down with the offensive zone possession time. And how about the goaltender? Seeing so much rubber tonight and a lot in the netting. And that's poked away. Ewison's taking it from his own end. And now it's grabbed by Garland. Puck grabbed by Yossi. Through the neutral zone, up along the wing. of the twig as he pokes that one away. And we'll get a breather here with offside the call. The Canucks lead in a big way here in this second. They have been on fire offensively. Nashville's won the faceoff at center. On the attack along the boards. Kicked away. And he puts it into his own net. James Howe surprised you think the goaltender is he just spins around and tries to clear the puck and he fires it past the tender Nashville's been outworked all night long but they finally got something they can push back with now yeah they got to continue to push as well if they want to give themselves an opportunity to feel like they can get back in this one and that's going to start with some hard work the good old intangibles and the feeling that they can get back in it it all starts with execution though James and you have to play physical. Strong defensive effort. Nashville's got a hold of it against the wall. And it's a quick pass to Favreau. He got all of that hit. Slides the puck down low. From point blank, denies him in close. Well, he knew where this puck was going. He's got a book on the shooter, James, and he gets square in front. Great position and makes the save. A quick save. Steps across the line and on the attack down the right side. entire team has been real lackluster from the beginning of this game. They looked ill-prepared at puck drop, and the only saving grace is they have half a game left to try and claw their way back into it. And a solid stop on the play there. Puck picked up by Hironic. Backtracks with possession back inside the defensive zone. Moves it to Miller. Oh, and somehow he gets a sliver of it and keeps it at bay. Scrum along the boards as they battle for the puck. Miller's got it in the defensive end. Di Giuseppe's gaining momentum. Sends it in deep. The Predators gain possession. Gaining momentum along the wing. Takes a hit, he goes down to the ice and coughs up the puck. Quick feed to Lafferty. And that's broken up. Shot, and that one's turned away. Takes the feed at the back end. Puck scooped up by McDonough. Quick pass to O'Reilly. And he's ridden off the puck. Vancouver's got a hold of the puck now. Through the open ice, they're picking up steam. Into the corner of the attacking area. Quick last. And that caroms off a body in the lane. Slides the puck across to Forsberg. Vancouver's gained possession. The Predators gain control of the puck against the wall. He scores! And there's the hat trick three as the magic number. It's a magic number. He's doing everything he can to take the crowd out of this one as he's with the away team. But he's been dominated, playing really confident all night long. The Predators have found a spark here late in the second. Let's see if they can build on it now. They're going to need more than a spark to get back in this one, but it'll certainly start it off as a two-goal deficit is better than a three. The Canucks play it along the wing. Taken by Smith. Poked away in the neutral zone by Zadoron. Here's a short pass to Suter. Answered the call on that play. And they'll get a breather as the goaltender covers it up. Here in the later stages of this period, the Predators are still trailing by two. And they win the draw on their own end. Great heads up play to poke it away in the offensive end. Picked up along the wall by Sherwood. 
The Predators played along the boards. Oh, glove saved by Demko. Slick feed. Great use of the stick here at center ice. Slides the puck across to Sherwood. Moves it quickly over to Favreau. Made the stop on that play. Demko's all over that save. I mean, he's dialed in and he recognizes where he has to be at the right time. Vancouver's got the puck in the defensive end. Looking for space inside the D zone. Here they come up along the wing. From the point, looks to make something happen. Grabs the puck in the defensive zone. The Canucks move it in. Dumps it into the O zone. Battle along the boards. And that battle along the wall comes to an end. Vancouver's got the puck along the boards. Nashville's got possession here in the neutral zone. The Canucks look to start the transition game. Hughes works the puck in his own zone. Moves it to Lindholm. And the lane's clogged up blocking that. And that's knocked away. And some good footwork to kick it away. And less than a minute to go here in the middle frame. From the right side and up the middle. And he's tripped up on the play. Referee's hand goes up here. Let's get the official decision. You hear the culprit, and you're going to the box for the second time in one period. You recognize that you've also compromised your team here. It's a team sport, and man, they're not happy right now. Well, with earlier success on the power play, I think they'll operate in the same fashion, James, in that 1-3-1 one, one setup where they look to work through the flanks because you know they've got some lethal shooters on this team. to Miller. Vancouver's on the attack. Quick pass to Garland. And there's the save. Here's a chance in front. And that goes off a player. Forty minutes down. Still another 20 to go here in this one. Join us for period number three. Next. The moment of truth has arrived for both these teams. Third period action set to go. The Canucks go right back at it on the power play here and win the draw to start the frame. Drives to the paint. Tremendous stop by Saros. Man, he was right on the advantage of a fortuitous rebound and you have to be able to smell it and sniff it out because he has great hand-eye coordination to be able to pick that one up and put it in the back of the net. Vancouver's offense continues to shine here in this third period. Well, this has got to be a dream for a coach. You know that they're telling their team in the intermission to make sure they stay to business, stay to task, stay focused. And that's exactly what they've done and they just hammered their opponent. Saros has it and freezes the play. The Canucks have been the busier team offensively, and as a result, they lead it big time here in this third. O'Reilly's won the draw inside his own end. Here's a short pass to Forsberg. Nice poke check. Suter's picking up steam. Moves it quickly over to Hughes. Takes a wrist shot. Oh, what a stop by Saros. The Canucks have it against the wall. Denies him. He got all of it. There's the whistle. We'll get a face-off after the goalie covers up. The Canucks have been active all night in the offensive zone, and they lead it here in this third. Back underway as he wins the draw inside the offensive zone. Oh, tried to put it in the corner and just missed that one. Well, hockey is a game of inches, and a great shot just misses. Moves it to Favreau. Comes up with a stop. 
And we'll get a reset after the puck goes up and out of play. Officials have got both teams ready, and it looks like play is set to resume here. Off the draw, and a nice job locking up his opponent. There's another stop! A nice save that he didn't have trouble with, James, as he's able to read that quick release shot. Vancouver's won the defensive zone draw. Moving into the attacking zone. A little dipsy doodle and he loses possession of the puck. It almost looked as if he was gonna get by the defender, but that extra move took his face away and it goes the other way. Vancouver's looking to break out. Gains the zone through the middle. Poked away in the defensive end. Quick feed to Fabro. Nashville's in transition. Hands in front, and that's blocked in front. And now it's grabbed by Miller. Grabbed along the board by Besser. The Canucks are across the line and into the offensive end. Intercepted the pass. Gains the zone from the right side. Solid hit on the play, and that knocks the puck off his stick. Takes the puck. Can hang on to the puck after taking a knock. Takes the pass. Pass to Trennan. Moves the puck. And he takes the pass. Nice speed from the left side up the middle. Shot! Gets a piece of it to make the save. Moves the puck to Nyfist. Centering pass! Only comes up with a stop. Pass back to the point. And the shot dies in the traffic jam. And he slides it quickly to Lindholm. Shot! Here's a shot! Oh, club save and a beauty! Vancouver's put in a total team effort here this evening, and they lead it comfortably in the third. Novak's won the draw deep in the defensive zone. Jankowski's gained the line and on the attack. Oh, and some lost momentum as the puck leaves the zone. A chance in front! Spectacular score! As it's in the back of the net, and it comes from an unlikely source because that's his first career playoff goal. Well, he's been relentless, James, in this playoffs, and you know what? He's found a way to find the back of the net. That's gonna be a huge confidence boost for himself and his teammates. The style of goaltending has changed so much over the years, James, and you can see that he drops right to his knees here in the butterfly position, trying to make himself as big as possible. But unfortunately, the shooter is able to put it by. The Canucks are sending a clear message that they are not taking their foot off the gas in this third period here, Cheryl. Well, you can certainly tell that they bought into the game plan, and the coach is certainly ecstatic with the performance of the entire bench. I mean, look at the way they're moving, holding the puck, attacking the net at the right times. It has been a seamless effort. Scores! And he puts home his own rebound! Well, this is a second effort, and everyone on the bench erupts when he scores his goal, James. Why? Because he's tenacious on the play. He doesn't just shoot the puck. He finds his own rebound, and then he puts it in. That's a great play. But you got to love the resilience on this goal. He gets the first shot off, but he continues to track the puck. Good hand-eye coordination to collect it and rip it home. Second shot opportunity goes in. The Predators don't really have time on their side here, but at least they've got something to push with. Yeah, really tough hole to climb out of, but certainly that one goal will give them a little bit of a lift. It's respectable. Here's a shot with the stop. Gets a hold of the puck here in his own end. We got a penalty coming up here. Oh, stop with the pad by Saros. Whistle blows, stopping the play. This is a frustrating situation, James. Just taking a whack over the penalties and really unable to get any momentum in this game because they're shorthanded the whole time. Vancouver's got another opportunity here on the man advantage. Gotta love when it feels easy, James. When the power play is working, the puck is moving, there's motion, everything seems directed at the net. And he slides it quickly to Heronic. Off the post! The Canucks playing a game of keep away in the offensive zone, shooting at will. This one wires off of the frame, so it's not going to...
second to count. But man, do they have a help to come to the lead. Scores! And that's his first goal of the postseason ever. And he'll take it. It's much needed, too, James. You get to the playoffs, you want to make sure that your teammates have trust in you and you have trust in yourself because you want to be an impact player. That's a nice start. Well, I love that he's got a sweet set of hands here on this play, James, but it's also his awareness, knowing where the opponents are and how to manipulate them. But what he does best is give this gift to his teammate who finishes it off with the goal. And he's knocked off the puck there. Here's a short pass to O'Reilly. Gain momentum up along the side. Vancouver's got possession of the puck. The Canucks will play it in their own end. has it and hangs on for the whistle and what a night he's had between the pipes. Well, another time where you say, love the way he holds on to this puck. He recognizes that he doesn't want to mishandle it, just holds on, makes the safe play. And sometimes the safe one's the right one, especially when you're a tight game in the third. And gets a little boost to come up with the puck from off the wing with both centers tied up. Nashville's in now. Fires it! Oh, he caught all of that! What a save by Tempo! A timely save is everything to your team, and this goaltender, he bails his team out. The Canucks certainly didn't get the result they wanted on that power play, giving up a shorthanded marker. And that's a tough one for the power play team here, James, giving up a shorty on that one. But what matters now is what you do next. Reset, refocus, and attempt to get back in this one. The Predators gain control of the puck. Puts it on net, and too much traffic in front blocks that one. Moves it quickly over to Heronic. Oh, love the defensive stick work there to poke that one away. Right side set up ahead into the middle of the ice. Yossi's moving the puck through his own zone. The Predators take it along the wall. He grabs the puck here at the point. Oh, and he can't bury that one! Uh, you don't get any opportunities like this in a game, James. You have to execute. He completely misses the net. The Canucks have looked good tonight, especially offensively here in this third period. Novak's won the faceoff here in the offensive zone. Demko's gonna hang on to the puck for a whistle. Some last second communication with the D as centers get ready to drop the puck. Vancouver's got possession here in their own end. Looks like we got a delayed tripping penalty coming up here. Takes a spill onto the ice and loses the puck. Here comes the official's decision. Well, the refs are calling a really tight game, and man, this has been a parade to the penalty box, and the entire bench looks agitated, and as a result, they keep taking more. The Canucks once again send out their power play unit. Having success earlier on the power play, they recognize where the openings have been. But what I love about it is they're not afraid to change it up. The motion on this power play in these sequences have really been the reason they've been successful. The Canucks get a hold of the puck along the boards. Enters the offensive zone from the left. Great poke check on the reach. Smith's got it against the boards. Vancouver's got the puck. Now a quick pass to Hughes. And he loses possession of the puck after trying to make one too many moves. He is so dangerous when the puck is on his stick in the offensive zone, but he tries one too many moves and he loses the puck. Goaltender covers up. We got a stoppage in play. Glass is ready for the faceoff as they'll continue to kill off this penalty. The Canucks win the draw here in their own end. They're looking to make something happen through the neutral zone now. Nice pass save. Takes the puck as the clock ticks down on the penalty kill. Taken by Shen. Takes the shot. Goodness, oh, what a save by Demko. Rebound control is critical in the game of hockey. Putting it to the corner, and now the offensive player has to hound the puck. Works it across to Evangelista. Nashville's got it along the wall. Sends it quickly to Suter. It's a two-on-one. Broken up. One play defensively.
The Canucks have shown no signs of stopping putting pucks on net, and they lead it here in this third. And they win the draw here in their own end. Slides the puck to Jankowski. Moves it around along the half wall. Oh, and he just gets a piece of it to keep it out. Well, this is an incredible... Oh, that corner, but he puts it off the outside of the post. The Predators are trying to shrink their deficit in this game. They're playing aggressive in the offensive zone, and they just wire one off the post as they try and claw their way back in. Vancouver's across the blue line. Just slide. From behind the net. Moves it to Besser. And they score on the delay penalty. Coaches love these kind of goals, James. When you have sustained offensive pressure, you're wearing your opponent down consistently, whether it's the cycle or whether you're creating motion and lanes to the net. Everything they did was right here. You can feel this one coming. They finally convert on their chances. Vancouver's performance tonight still showing no signs of let up here in this third period. Well, they've had such an impressive performance, James. It's been dominant in all areas of the ice, and there's been no lag or no let up. The message has been clear by the coaching staff as well as everyone on the bench. Keep pushing. Well, he was kind of using his stick as a weapon there, James. He was hacking and whacking, and these are the types of calls that need to be made because they can result in an injury. Carlin Bade, who had the better night in that head-to-head -head matchup with the Stars? Pedersen's the player I think had the edge in tonight's matchup, guys. The deciding factor for me was the difference in points between the players we highlighted earlier. He obviously had more offense in tonight's game. They move the puck out of harm's way. Quick pass across to O'Reilly. What a steal in his own end. Vancouver has been reading their opponents so well, knowing exactly what they're going to do. The scouting report has certainly worked its way into this game. They're just shutting down everything, interfering with plays and disrupting them. And of course, it's a blowout because of it, James. They're getting the puck and they're going north. Pedersen's ready for the draws. They will continue to try to kill off this penalty. The Canucks win the faceoff. Great defensive effort with the stick. Tries to feed it over to Favreau. Shot! That's blocked by Demko. And the puck stopper jumps on top of it to get a stoppage in play. They'll get set to drop the puck as this power play continues. The Canucks win it in the defensive zone. Puck slid down the ice. Pass to Evangelista. And he can't hang on after that hit. Sissons has the puck against the half wall. Denies that opportunity. Centering pass in front. Moves it again. And that's stopped. Heronix out of the box. Power plays have the opportunity to really dictate pace and change the momentum of the game. And this one didn't do any of it, James. Certainly frustrated as they head back to the bench. Centering feed. Oh, and they can't connect on the pass because it was broken up in front. Picking up some steam at center ice. Here's a great use of the stick right there to poke it away. Moves it up through the middle to the right. Poked away and forces the turnover at center. The Predators gain the zone. Cuffs up possession of the puck. Quick feed to Sherwood. Directed over to Forsberg. Great read with the stick. Angles it over to Hughes. Less than 60 seconds to play in this blowout. Nashville's playing it through center. There's a shot, and he's got that one. Zips it on net, and that's off target as it hits a body. Vancouver's got a hold of the puck. Through the neutral zone now, picking up steam. And the fans on their feet recognizing a solid victory here in front of them. Long reach breaks up the momentum.
see at the other end of the ice. Cheryl, this was the response that everybody expected and anticipated. I mean, it's the playoffs, James. I mean, you got the best teams in the playoffs, and they want it. They're urgent. They knew they couldn't drop another game. So this was all about a timely response, and they answered the call. Thanks so much for joining us. We had a great time. Hope you did, too. For all of us here at EA Sports, I'm James Cebulski. Good night.